Rachel Miller, Associate Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Division of Gynecologic Oncology. So I'm a GYN oncologist, um, which means that I did specialized training after an OBGYN residency to focus on uh, women's cancers, excluding breast cancer. So cancers of the female reproductive tract, uterine, cervical, vulvar, vaginal, and ovarian cancers. You know, I see only women. <laughs> um, sometimes I forget that there is a whole other subset of patients out there, males. <laughs> but, um, you know, I really see patients at all spectrums of the age range. Um, the youngest patients I probably see are 13 to 15 years old. And sometimes I do that in conjunction with pediatric oncology. Um, but I see patients well into their um, later years, 90s. Um, with any type of gynecologic cancer. Sometimes the younger patients have um, ovarian cysts that fortunately oftentimes are not cancer. Um, there's a lot of variety. Um, you know, I see patients here uh, locally as well as from uh, more rural parts of the states and I think that's one of the things I enjoy most. Um, so patients are from a uh, variety of backgrounds, um, education levels, um, social circumstances, and I really enjoy that aspect. Well, you know, I place um, a lot of importance on making the patient and their family feel comfortable. And I do always ask patients things about their, their day to day. You know, I like to know, I, I think one of my favorite questions to ask is what do you do to keep yourself busy? You know, because people have a variety of things and they don't think about what they're doing on the day to day. They'll say, well, I don't do anything. It's like, well, you do. And you know, the more you ask, the more interesting answers you get. And um, you know, I think, I really enjoy hearing the variety of replies that I get from patients and just hearing about, you know, unique aspects. So, grew up in Kentucky, a really small town, Brooksville, Kentucky, population 600. And um, I think that just was such a unique upbringing. You know, I had the great opportunity. I went to undergrad here in Lexington, medical school here at UK, and then went away for residency um, to Dartmouth. And some people say, oh wow, that was such a radical change. In fact, it really wasn't. That's a pretty rural part of the world. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to be able to come back for fellowship. And, um, you know, I just realized how, how well I relate to people here in Central Kentucky. I mean, it's who I know. Um, I grew up around these people. You know, we serve a lot of Central Eastern Kentucky. And I know where these people are from. So when I ask them where they're from, and they say, oh, you probably never heard of it before. And you know, a lot of times, most of the time I'd say I have. So I love being able to be in the state where I grew up and practice medicine.